Hello, I wanted to share with you today one small thing that I've been doing which has really helped with my anxiety and general feeling of overwhelm at the moment. Um, I wish there were like quick fixes and a magic wand which would make everything okay, but there aren't. However, I find some of these little hacks can make a big difference. So something that I've been doing lately um, is in the morning when I wake up, not looking at my phone, not checking in with email or social media or anything in the outside world essentially uh, until such point that I decide I want to engage with the world. Now the reason why I do this is many fold. Part of it is that I've got two daughters in year six who I need to get up and get out the door to school and that time in the morning with them is quite precious and quite pressured sometimes. Um, but also when I open up my phone uh, or my computer or any other communication device and I allow myself to look at messages incoming from email, social media or other places, then those messages dictate how I feel and what I do and instantly I start to begin to think about how I'm going to respond to those things or they might change my mood and flip how I'm feeling um, and they can really set the tone for the whole morning. Now I can't do anything about anything that's incoming until about half past eight or nine o'clock when I get back from having done the school run and coming back home. So looking at those messages a couple of hours earlier isn't going to do anything other than add them as additional weights on my mind of things I could or should be doing or that worry me. Um, and the other thing I find is that when I look quickly at my phone, at email, social media and so on, first thing, then I don't take time to really digest what people are saying and I often misconstrue. So I spend time thinking about things in the wrong direction or often worrying unnecessarily because I overly negatively interpret tone and content and I know that's something that many other people struggle with as well. But I have a brain that, you know, someone could say 99 positive things and one that's just a little ambiguous and I will read this as a wholly negative message. So not helpful to to read those in a hurry and have that stressing me out when I can't fully read and respond and do in that moment. So that's it. That's that's the whole hack here is don't pick up your phone and engage with the outside world first off. This may or may not work for you. It might not be possible for you. Um, it might be even that you just allow yourself like 15 minutes before you engage with such things. But I have found that it's led to more productive, more mindful mornings where I'm wholly engaged with my family. We tend to get out of the house on time and I'm not overly stressing out about things that I can't do anything about right now. So for me, it's made a really big difference. It might do so for you too. Um, if you want to try this or any of the other kind of hacks that I try and, and recommend to you sometimes, I would suggest trying it for several days before you decide whether or not it's having an impact. Um, and I would love to hear from you whether this is something that you find helpful too, or if there are other suggestions that you would make of things that make a big difference. I'm going to link in the comments down below to a really brilliant Twitter thread. So I started a, a thread on Twitter um, a couple of days ago saying what were people's kind of well-being hacks, what are the little things they were doing uh, to make themselves feel a bit better that we could all learn from. And there's so many responses on there so I'll link to that in the comments just that you might find that a really helpful thread to, to tap into and be inspired by. But this is my one. Do not check devices until the point of your choosing. You should determine when you want to interact with the outside world and respond rather than have the outside world determine the shape of your mood and morning. Preach over. Bye.